This video is on Ulmus rubra, slippery elm or red elm. It's in the Ulmaceae family, the elm family. The specific epithet rubra means red. And the fruit type is the Samara. And these Samaras mature in the spring. The name slippery elm comes from the mucilaginous inner bark and it has some medicinal properties. It's used in lozenges or to relieve sore throats. And the wood is used for furniture and paneling. And this species suffers from Dutch elm disease. It's affected many of our other native elms as well. To identify this plant, we'll start with the leaves. So the leaves are alternate. And rounded with a pointed tip. They're widest towards the base or the middle of the leaf. And they have, the leaves are doubly serrated, so each of the individual teeth is also toothed. The base is in equilateral, so you see how one side at the base of the leaf is higher, the blade comes up higher on this right side than it does on the left. And the leaf is also very scabrous, very rough to the feel. So when you rub your fingers along, you can feel just how rough these leaves are. And like many other elms, on vigorous shoots like this one, the leaves are distinctly two ranked. So they lie in flat sprays with two pairs of two alternating down the twig. And the bark is just brown. This one's pretty small, but on mature trees, the bark will be more deeply furrowed. Also, to identify this tree, you look at the buds very closely, they're dark in color, but they often have reddish rusty hairs. You won't be able to see it in this video, but if you look at the tree in person, you can see these reddish hairs on some of the buds. That's where the name red elm comes from. But most importantly, once you know it's an elm, you want to feel these super rough leaves, and that's how you know it's slippery elm.